100,000 lives and over 30 years long and bloody odyssey of armed struggle for independence from 1961 to 1991. Eritrean Liberation Forces fighting with little outside help defeated the Soviet market Ethiopian regime and achieved independence in 1991. State of Eritrea was born in ruins with almost 85% of its 3 million people living on relief aid. Soon after 1991, though, uh, we had another problem. From 1991 until 1997, we, had, we have been free. We have done a lot in development programs. We had, uh, that we had, we had a referendum in 1993, just a performer or uh, a courtesy for the international community. And the Eritreans outside and inside voted yes for independence and 99.8% was the result. But still, we had another problem. This time a border problem with Ethiopia again. Soon after 1991, some of the Ethiopian soldiers or guerrillas from our neighbor, our neighbor province of Ethiopia started to move into the western parts of Eritrea. We never thought they had a hidden agenda. They came there to farm small plots of land. They displaced Eritrean farmers who lived there for centuries. In August 1997, Ethiopian troops occupied the eastern village, the Eritrean village of Admuruk in the eastern part of uh, Eritrea, under the pretext of pursuing terrorists. In the same month, Ethiopia expelled Eritrean citizens around Badme. I will uh, explain more about Badme later because that was the one, was the main, the main issue for. Uh, uh, fighting in, on the border issue. This expulsion and destruction of crops and properties continued throughout the next year of May 1998. Good Get lost. <laughs> This was one of the reasons. This is the province of Ethiopia which borders to Eritrea. As you see the shaded area in this place, it doesn't see. That part, uh, they demanded that it belongs to the province. But the borders between Eritrea and Ethiopia were a long time ago delineated between Italy and Ethiopia in 1900, 1902, and 1908. So this was the main cause. This is the area where we are calling now Badme environs. And this was the main cause for the war between Eritrea and Ethiopia for three solid years. There was a lot of mediation done between Eritrea and Ethiopia. The first ones were the United States and Rwanda. United, they tried to mediate the issue. Finally, they presented uh, certain plans. We said, okay, 
but the Ethiopians rejected it. Then again, another mediation came, the Af uh, Organization of African Union. They tried their best and come out with some framework agreements. We accepted it. Ethiopia accepted it first and later rejected it. Finally, there was a concerted trial from different organizations and countries, including Organization of African Union, United Nations, <coughs> European Union, USA, and Algeria. So finally, in 2000, December, December 12, we signed the agreement, and this is what we are seeing, the signing uh, uh, event or uh, uh, um, place where it was done. It was done in Algeria, and uh, the one who is on this side is my president, and the other one on that side is Prime Minister Merles Zainawi uh, of Ethiopia. In this agreement, which we call Algiers Agreement, there are about four tenets, key tenets. Number one, to delimit the common border on the basis of pertinent colonial treaties, 1900, 1902, and 1908, and applicable international law. To establish a neutral international boundary commission, which is EEBC, as the heck to delimit and demarcate the border, the common border. The decision of the boundary commission to be final and binding. Invoke chapter seven, Again, as the party of the uh, party or parties violating the Algiers Agreement. In 2002, the EEBC or the Eritrea Ethiopia Boundary Commission gave a verdict. In the two years from 2000 to 2002, both of us presented all the documents, treaties, and maps. Unfortunately for the Ethiopians, they presented, they presented a map to them with the main city, Badwe, inside Eritrea. <coughs> anyway, this is what has happened. I'm just trying to touch basis on, on this issue. Uh, I will try to give you more detailed information. Uh, in, uh, on the 13th of April 2002, the Boundary Commission gave a verdict, and immediately on the same day, this was what the President of the Security Council, at that time Russian, gave a press statement regarding the verdict and the issue. Don't worry, I'll, I'll send you in detail about it. <laughs> and this is the UN Security Council Hall, as you know. This is what I have for today about this, uh, the, uh, the preliminary. But I'll get rid of this computer now and use the other thing for After the preliminary things that I gave you before, I'll uh, go on to give you more detailed ones. If you get bored, tell me. I can stop it. <laughs> before I start to speak on the assigned main topic, conflict resolution in the Horn of Africa, um,